Hello, viewers. Welcome back to another success story. So we have Sarva with us who cleared PMP on 22nd August. I just uh, was talking a few minutes before the recording. How is How are you feeling? He said feeling relieved, relaxed. <laughs> That's the first word I want to hear from people. Because after weeks, months of effort, you complete something. There is something called sense of satisfaction or sense of accomplishment. You feel... Ah, something good. <laughs> so congratulations, Saurav, for this great achievement. Yep, thanks, Ree. Thanks, Ree. Thanks, for, you know, for, for all your guidance, uh, basically you and your entire team uh, for making this this true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thanks for your trust with the Sri Learning and doing this course and again, trust on yourself to make it happen. In steward books, this is all secondary. First thing, trust on yourself is very important. I appreciate that. And uh, you mentioned that I was totally relieved. Is it a relief only for you or your family members also feel relieved when you cleared the exam? Uh, I mean, for, I mean, I would say you know, more than me, it was for my family because like I've been, you know, uh, through this journey for, for, I believe, for the last one year. So uh, those weekend plans have, have gone for a toss almost all the times. And today, you know, while I was, you know, sitting before the laptop, my wife just asked me, your exams are done, why you are sitting now on a Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> right, I understand that because uh, your time is there. Whenever you do some personal work, your brain always will be there. I have to do the practice test. I have to do this. Back of your mind, keep on running. Now you feel okay enough. But one other thing I found with people, once they clear the exam, their brain won't keep quiet. They feel, can I do anything else? Uh, if if I can do the PMP now, I can do another certificate or let me go for a promotion, a job change. The next game starts. So <laughs> it's up to the people to decide. All right. Fantastic, uh, Saurabh. Uh, Saurabh, uh, give a little background about yourself, what you do and uh, why you chose PMP. Yeah. Uh, so like I've been working in uh, IT industry for like uh, last 13 years. Uh, and currently I'm working with one of uh, the organization based sort of uh, uh, NCR region, uh, and it's it's uh, basically work from home since since COVID, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, you know uh, while, while while doing the daily uh, things, uh, I just felt sometimes like you know there has to be some some international standards which has to be you know uh, uh, kind of understood by everyone and valued by everyone. Uh, so that's you know upon further digging and doing the analysis, I uh, came to know about the certification. Okay, and then did my own own analysis for you know, why PMP and why not Finch to win those certifications. Yeah. Then it, some you know, yeah. reserve analysis and alternative analysis after doing that. <laughs> <I think. laughs> that, that is just a trade-off, right? This certificate, yeah. this certificate. Yeah. At one time you realize that all are needed. <laughs> <laughs> I can also understand you were in Agile and you were playing some Scrum Master sometime also. You learned Scrum yeah. Master also. Yeah, yeah. So uh, in in my uh, one of my previous projects and before that, I was playing a dedicated role of a Scrum Master. Uh, yeah. So like I was reading those things. So uh, I mean, uh, in terms of understanding uh, while reading the books and also while while going to the training and while answering the questions in the, in, in the final exam. Mm. Uh, that 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 work or the, that that practical experience did did help a lot. I understood, Saurabh. So, Saurabh, you if your person is a scrum master, do you think for them also PMP can give some idea? What is management? Will it help? Yeah, yeah, sure, hundred percent. It can give them right. Uh, anything, yeah, I know. I did a CSM certificate in years back. Even today, CSM is valuable, certified Scrum Master. I feel PMP also adds some basement of what is management, leadership, servant leadership. Yeah, those things go a little deeper in this course, I believe. All right, great. Nice to know. So first, we'll see your certificate because that's a hard-earned one. Here it is. So when you got the certificate, you felt excited. Did you print a copy of it? And uh, some make a photo frame of it and keep it on a desk also. Oh yeah, <laughs> to be honest, I was just searching online. So where to get this <laughs> note <thing> online? <laughs> uh, there, are, I, there was one woman. She, what she did is uh, once she cleared, first thing she got a wooden frame that uh, rosewood model. Yeah. I know you are also searching for same. <laughs> she got <laughs> and put a copy and kept on the desk. She was very proud about what she did and kept it. Uh, but I think that's a good thing, right? Whenever you are dull or you want to get motivated, you saw the certificate, you feel, ooh, wow, I did it. <laughs> All right, fantastic. So two questions comes up primarily, sort of, when somebody watches this video. 
um what was a preparation timeline or a journey somebody goes through some will clear in 2 3 weeks some takes year of time it depends on the personal and professional commitment so what is a preparation journey and how the exam is two questions so uh, let's start with uh, how is the preparation journey and uh, what books you read kind of if you want to add some points uh, uh, in terms of my my journey uh, you know it it actually stretched for like a year but again that's that's not the ideal time though when i mean i should advise for other folk going through this but again uh, i mean i believe uh, i mean i i i enrolled in uh, july last year that was end of july last year 2022 uh i i filled my application and that was approved i also gave i mean submitted the examination fee that was in september so i had i mean september last year so uh, i had good 365 days to to give the exam which was about to end in september uh, 2023 and i gave this exam in august so which which is i mean also on august 22nd which essentially means i had only you know, one or two weeks more Uh, so you you need year. you need that deadline then only you have that uh, <laughs> motivation to go for the exam <laughs> so basically it was like student in rome and parkinson slow both working at the same time <laughs> <laughs> okay okay yeah, so mm-hmm. i mean no, but like yeah, I'm, um, on a serious note i mean there were you know uh, things just happening on the personal side and the family side so those that in this uh, kept on pushing things uh, but like i was i was trying to read read things uh, not consistently but at least once in a week i would say or twice in a week again that frequency is is very very low again not not to be advised but yeah I mean, it did happen for me uh, and in terms of books that that, that i read that was uh, rita tenth edition uh, agile practice guide those are the two books that i referred and apart from that uh, the weekly questions that that she learning provides and the the, the box the test that are there in so I mean, i mean i only referred box from she learn not from any other side oh okay that is a uh... that's a news for the people who are listening this video of course a lot of mock papers available you don't need to restrict it to one uh, yeah, yeah. again one question keep popping up sure of <clears throat> now reading is fine people read the book sometimes they take weeks time to read some can read faster some can read only slow uh, you feel that you also had that frustration you can't sit and read and you can't complete the book did any time you had that frustration Oh yeah, when I went through it many times, not once, not twice, but many times. Yeah, so I, I, I think I was able to read slowly. I don't know why, but I mean, it, it took me. I mean, for few chapters, I went to you know more than three or four weeks. So that <laughs> one, one month, and I got into this, uh, got into one chapter. And um, while I was just thinking, what did I learn? What did I learn? Oh, what did I learn? <laughs> I was just thinking about what did I learn. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, if you want to give somebody and thought i know this video is watched by many people who are going for the exam some are in the preparation stage if they are also going through the same frustration that i'm reading nothing is getting inside or i can't read in a speed what i want you want to say something for them any advice yeah 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 so it's it's, it's very simple it's, it's very simple uh, i mean as you've said many times it's very simple so just read the book once all the books once done with it keep the book aside now simply focus on the uh, on the mocks or or basically or the questions and try to think about you know the mindset with which those questions are answered and the uh, laws reasoning behind that because in the exam it the, i mean factual questions are very less i mean if i remember correctly all my questions were like as a pm what will you do next as a pm what will you do next all these questions were there all the scenario based questions exactly exactly so it's not about how many lines you remember from the book it's all about when you keep the book aside some concepts got inside you right uh, for which you cannot rely on one chapter in the book you have to go through all the chapters as a whole something will get formed in your brain i think that is what the exam is looking for so uh, i know we are coming from an academic background where our exam pattern is more on you have to know things like yeah. yeah you have to know that's the way we are grown up at least from country like india we are grown up like that so we look for uh, where people have to understand the concepts very clearly that's little tricky nice to know thanks for that point and thanks for the motivation and you are saying that i am also there i to struggle so that gives some people motivation okay some some person struggle like me still clear the exam <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> and and not just clearing i think it was like above target so yeah so i mean you know it's i mean no that thing more uh, gives you know more more confidence i would say <laughs> that's really nice really nice now when you practice exams you said you did in sri learning practice exams uh, sri learning practice exams sometimes scores go good sometimes goes pathetic <laughs> uh, again people feel a little down there when they don't see a good score 
do we need to believe on the score and only rely on the score or we have to take the time to analyze why we couldn't score so what will be your uh, view on that so I, i think we should not score uh, we should not view the scores only objectively you know just not drawing a graph and you know that thing will not help so basically mm-hmm. what we should try to think at or basically look at is uh, as is uh, how many you know i mean i mean uh, i may have answered a question correctly but was my part the same i mean was my thought process the same uh, with respect to the uh, the answers that 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 given uh, so we need to analyze that part that is more important mm-hmm. the answer or basically score score could be yeah yeah but you are, i agree they, they they do increase the confidence yeah <laughs> because scores are important i cannot say no for that because scores are the motivation that yeah. makes you to feel good uh, but totally only on the score will not help us we have to see those uh, analysis that's very important fantastic nice sort of thanks for that and going to the second part of this on the exam part uh, okay reading all good you prepared for some timeline you read the books practice the questions but exam day is a uh, key day okay uh, how how you felt with the exam reading all this practice time management and the question paper toughness how you felt uh, i would say uh, uh, the toughness of the context i would say it was moderate few questions were uh, were uh, difficult i would say really difficult uh, if i remember correctly you know the first 15 questions you know i read them at least three times to four times <laughs> so I, i mean i just you know accepted anyone and chose all of them for review and at the end i did not review them <laughs> so you know, a few questions could be like that I mean, there could be few questions could be extremely very very difficult mm-hmm. so those 15 mm-hmm. questions and due to probably i think that reason only i mean uh, even though i'm trying you know only to read the question once or maximum twice but the impact that those those 15 questions had on me was like uh, uh, I, I was reading question thrice. I mean, in in the first section, which I was just telling my mind not to do that. But you know, even even after telling myself not to do that, I was doing that. Thing. As a result of that, I think uh, uh, the first first sixty questions. I mean, when when the clock ended, it was like one one thirty one thirty three minutes left. So I took quite some great time over there. Yeah. Ah, okay. I think um, the first slot took high time yeah. for you. Oh, yeah. Look like you quite consumed a hundred minutes for the first sixty questions. uh almost close to 97 minutes yeah, it's it's a big time there because usually recommend first slot 80 90 minutes uh but again usually the first slot goes higher because of the anxiety and uh, that you are reading first time the pmi language also that also could be the problem there and then you picked up speed in the second and third is it so uh i mean yeah i mean so i mean uh, when i ended my second set of 60 questions it uh, the clock showed some uh, 55 minutes or 56 minutes left again some i think 80 minutes i took that's a good speed in that case so when you complete all on 80 questions so how much of minutes are left out for you okay so in the third one i mean in in, in the in the third set uh, the last last 5 minutes were left and there were 10 questions remaining so what i did i quickly made a point i mean i cannot read the entire question i cannot read all the options again i mean i would not be able to address that so what did i do i mean i just simply read the last line and all the all those uh, the options and selected <laughs> okay it's a random click tuck 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 <laughs> no no, no, no not, not random because like reading last line does does give some oh, you understood there okay then it is fine like again it is only to be used as a very extreme measure yeah yeah but you can't do it for all the question <laughs> no no certainly not certainly not <laughs> certainly okay okay when you do it there immediately you saw the results yeah then i just click okay and then no it, it said like times up i mean i had to click it manually okay then then that score came that congratulations thing <laughs> then it just loaded for at least a minute or so then it shows congratulations oh it took a minute man that minute would have been a high heartbeat for you but i was just looking out for for that person who can help me when what what happened what happened did the system crash or what what happened <laughs> <laughs> you know the 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 result minute is almost the first minute to sit uh, that yeah. that 10 seconds or 30 seconds it look long duration because you did a four hours of exam now you want the result guys tell me <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, i'm sure you would have been excited right when you saw the result Yeah, yeah. I mean, in, in that one minute, I mean, everything just flashed before me. All the training stuff, the other thing. I was just thinking, what, what, what would the consequence be? Consequence be? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again. I mean, after seeing the result, yeah, I mean, it was it was a joy. 
nice to know did you had a math questions also in your paper uh yeah i think uh, if i remember correctly i think i got a couple of questions mm -hmm. uh, based on the, they were they were asking something to calculate uh, but like they were extraneous the too much amount of data was there uh, if uh, i mean if i remember correctly i did for the uh, for one of the question uh, i mean uh, the answer that that i derived was nowhere in the options <laughs> no so when I mean, what did i do i did not go back to the calculations again i just chose what was the nearest to to my to my answer okay okay all right. Uh, right so it could be pert or it could be evm calculation related to math yes. Right, right, right. Only two questions. Only two questions. Sure. And uh, what is the length of the question? I keep hearing some people say it's very lengthy. Uh, that's the reason it consumed a lot of time for me. You felt that way in the exam? Uh, yeah, the questions were lengthy. I think, uh, uh, except the first fifteen questions that I uh, got, uh, all questions I would say they were they were kind of lengthy. Oh, uh, they, had, they had three or four lines to read, or uh -huh. more than. Okay. Uh, Okay, I think it keeps shuffling because we had another yeah. person who cleared the exam. She was saying that all are one and a half lines or two lines. I think they they keep shuffling with the tons of questions. So we can't say how does it look like. All right, fantastic. So you work in agile environment. Does it help you in exam hall when you choose some of such questions? Yeah, surely. Surely it does. It does. For example, like, is there a reference to some sort of reports or no? What reports should the project manager? Okay. Uh, sorry. Yeah, it, it does. It does. It nah. does. Nice to know. Good. So uh, you went to a center-based exam in uh, Lucknow, isn't it? Uh, no, I mean, in Lucknow, we do not have a, a PhD in center. So I mean, I had to go to Gurdav. Okay, you went to the center-based exam and the facilities were good. Yeah. And uh, oh, yeah. primarily, primarily, they take care of everything, right? You you just had to show your ID card, get into the exam center and start writing the examination. And I believe they don't allow anything to carry inside the hall. You... No, no, no. You have to keep everything separate. Yeah, you have to do that part. Uh, facilities are good. Uh, the only thing is um, you have to go an hour early before, isn't it? To the exam center for the verification. 30 minutes early. I actually reached there one hour early. So they asked me to come to 30 minutes early. Oh, <laughs> so you were sitting and refreshing some content. Okay. No, no, no content. I was just watching outside the building. <laughs> <laughs> All right, good, Saurabh. Hope you gave some treat party for your family after this exam. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, 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 we kind of went out for a, for a dinner, yeah. Nice, that's nice to know. Good to know. Uh, so first, thanks a lot for talking about your journey. Um, that you feel anything you want to share specifically, guys do this for the exam, apart from what we discussed. Mm, uh, yeah, it's, it's the advice is very simple. Just join C learning and you know just just follow what is being asked and you know don't need to do anything apart from that. Just just follow follow and just go go with the flow. Things will be very simple and you will be able to do the certification. Okay, you know, maybe in a couple of months, <laughs> not not like much, but yeah, that, you, that's the only advice. Yeah, you made it simple. Follow the steps. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> All right, great. So all the viewers, thanks for watching this video and I give you a like and uh, comments with a sort of. Any questions towards the examination, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll be able to help or Saurav can help you over there because this is a big community project management. It's not only within uh, two of us. It's going to be very large. Anyone can talk about what is management. We can help you. Super Saurav. So thanks a lot, Saurav, coming up here and uh, good wishes for your success in your career. And uh, one thing I keep saying people is uh, apply what you learn. That's very important because... Uh, yeah, we got a certificate, but over a time, you don't apply, it'll all fly off. So start applying what you have learned. All right. Good wishes. Keep rocking. All right. Thank you, Shri. Thanks for your time. Have a nice day. Thank you. Amazing.